Hey guys, this is Mike Mers with Advanced Armament Corporation here at SHOT Show 2011. I want to go over some new stuff that we brought. Exciting cartridge from us is the 300 Blackout. You know, everybody shoots an AR, everybody's got one. Everybody owns a lot of guns like that with the AR. Like the light recoil, always looking for a little more out of the round, a little more out of the cartridge. And then the flip side of that is if you go 308 and you go to a 308, you end up with a larger gun, bigger recoil, heavier ammo, more flash, more sound coming from a silencer company. So what we did is we made a cartridge that from here rearward is 223. So it takes your normal 223 bolt, fits in regular AR-15 magazines. But from here forward, shoots a 30 caliber bullet and it'll shoot any 30 caliber projectile. So you still have your same lightweight gun you've always had and always loved, but you have the ability to shoot a bigger bullet. Right now we have 220 grain subsonic ammunition. And when I say subsonic, it cycles the gun just like normally, um, locks open on the last round, not having any cyclic issues. So we're doing subsonic 220 grain ammo. We'll eventually have in second quarter 110 grain hunting ammo, as well as 150 grain or 147 grain plinking ammo. It's going to be ball round. It's going to be really inexpensive, something you can shoot as blaster ammo. So really excited about this cartridge. On top of that, this is our 16 inch upper that we're making. Um, it's our upper M16 bolt carrier group. Everything you would need there. Knight's Armament Rail. This is a URX rail with an integrated flip up front sight. Our nitride barrel, R5120 flash hider, ready to mount any of our silencers, including the new 762 SDN. This silencer here is built from the ground up for 300 blackout, works great with 30 caliber as well. We're really short applications like 7.5 or 8 inch 5.56 guns. And for that matter, any barrel length 5.56 gun. So excited there. Um, in 300 blackout, we also do a nine inch barrel. This is a nine inch barrel 300 blackout. Again, nitrided barrel, 51 tooth flash hider mounts, any silencer you want. Um, this is in a mega monolithic upper, but we do, a, we do an upper that we sell with a Knight's Armament rail, just like the same barrel, stay same M16 bolt carrier group, everything you need. So that's exciting. Switching gears a little bit, I wanna show you. We are proud to sell our Tyrant 45S which is a new short version of our Tyrant 45. When shot wet, it is very quiet. Um, you, it also comes apart in 2011. So the end cap will remove, and the, you're talking about a handgun silencer. That is completely user serviceable. So you take the baffles out, clean them. I clean mine sitting in front of the TV with a bronze bristle brush, stack them back in, and it's ready to go. So excited about cleanable Tyrants, and the whole Tyrant line for 2011 is going to be cleanable. Um, also, and this is not available yet, but this you know looks like a regular Ruger 1022 in a hoax stock. But we've actually built a silencer into the barrel. Our integral silencer is a little different. Other guys will build a silencer that comes out the front to keep it overall 16 inches. Instead, we built the silencer into the barrel. So this starts life as a heavier barrel. We turn it down put ports in here. I don't know if you can see the ports. We vent into this coaxial area. This is a baffle. We vent into this coaxial area and we build a little monolithic core on the end. This is only one tack stamp. There's not, this, this doesn't come off. So it's not a SBR and a silencer. It's just a silencer. And you can get down here and clean the ports. Other setups, like I talk about, silencer comes out the front, but you can't get down here and clean the ports. So anyway, really excited about stuff from Advanced Armament. This is new for 2011.